It's time to open the door to 2024. It's already shaping up to be an action-packed year here at the Gatton College. And in this inaugural edition of Simon Says for 2024, I resolve to bring you student resolutions, top 2% research accolades, a teaser for the Economic Outlook Conference, and our latest partnership with the Governor's School for Entrepreneurs. Three, two, one. Happy New Year on this Supreme Scholars, Stanford Spotlight of Success, Student Showcasing, Show Stopping, Old Lang Syne Singing Special of Simon Says. So viewers, it's great to be back in the Simon Says saddle. And I hope you've all had a restful and prosperous holiday season. In my case, I drove more than 3,000 miles across Texas, Florida, and Alabama and had a wonderful time. And I just love the thought of starting the new year by talking about summer. Yes, summer viewers, because in Australia, we celebrate the new year with test cricket. And this year, Australia beat Pakistan three tests to zero. Back to reality and wintertime here in Kentucky. It's a good time of the year to look forward. As such, I'm delighted to announce the college is going to host the Kentucky Governor's School for Entrepreneurs for the first time in summer 2024. This three week live in program helps 9th, 10th and 11th grade students to develop lifelong skills in entrepreneurship in an intensive learning environment right here at the Gatton College. And to get the John Dory on this summer's exciting program, I'm joined by the following amazing lineup. Our very own David Blackwell, Associate Dean for Professional and Graduate Programs. Silas Dean, Chair of our Von Elman Center for Entrepreneurship Board. And our special guest, Angel, the CEO of the Governor's School for Entrepreneurs. Welcome guys, and thank you for joining me on Simon Said. Hello. First of all, Anne, can you tell the viewers at home a little bit about the GSE? So GSE is all about empowering the dreams of, of Kentucky students who want to be entrepreneurs right here in the bluegrass and create jobs here in Kentucky. We have two key programs that we run at the Governor's School for Entrepreneurs. We've got the Summer Startup Program, and then we also have the Collegiate Pitch Program. But Summer Startup in particular is a three-week intensive program where we bring these high school students from across the entire state of Kentucky and take them on campus, and we teach them how to fail without fear. We teach them how to think about problems, come up with solutions, and create a business plan, and pitch that plan at the end of three weeks to a panel of judges. And so the idea really is to help drive economic growth here across Kentucky, teach Kentucky students how to have successful businesses here, and then support them every step of the way uh, on that journey. That's wonderful, Anne. Can you tell the viewers how the partnership with the Gatton College will enhance the experience for the GSE participants? The, the facilities, uh, the building itself. I mean, we were just jaw dropping, you know, in terms of uh, the resources that are there. The, not just even like the environment is amazing. And then the people, the UK people. I mean, the, the Von Allman board, um, the, the faculty there, um, what, an, what an amazing team that, that the summer startup program will have there on the campus of UK to help in this transformational uh, experience for our students. What specific skills do you expect the students on the program to gain? Well, we really like to emphasize that the skills that you learn at GSE are lifelong. These are things that are going to help students succeed in life, whether they go on to college, whether they run their own business, or if they do both. We really help them to try to understand how to build a successful team, how to work through conflict on a team, and, um, and that all of these things come together to help them these skills for the rest of their life. Wonderful, Anne, thank you. Silas, thanks for joining us today. Happy New Year, mate. It's good to see you even down the line. Look forward to interactions with you in 2024. Can you tell the viewers at home 
What role does entrepreneurial education play in shaping the future leaders of Kentucky? Uh, thank you, Simon, for having us. Uh, off to a great 2024 with this announcement. So very excited uh, for that, for all the students. Uh, you know, at the University of Kentucky, uh, it's so critical uh, for these students to be able to get this exposure, not only to world-class institution at the University of Kentucky, but these programs that Ann is talking about, uh, you know, things like learning to uh, learning to fail. Uh, these are these are all important lessons that uh, I think the students are going to learn at at this level, and and uh, high schoolers across the state of Kentucky are brilliant, and uh, giving them the opportunity to participate in a program like this at a place like the University of Kentucky is is going to be phenomenal for everyone. Thank you. Welcome, Dave Blackwell. Let me start by going off the script as usual and say a big thank you to you, Dave, for taking the leadership role and your tireless efforts in getting the GSC program to the University of Kentucky. Very welcome, Simon. It was my honor. How does the collaboration with GSC mark a new era in entrepreneurship education here in Kentucky? If you look at the mission of the University of Kentucky and, and also the Gatton College, uh, a significant part of the mission is, is economic development and GSE is part of a long game. Uh, these are high school students, and I, th I think that uh, they will ultimately have an impact on economic development in the Commonwealth. And, and I hope that by their participation in GSE, especially on the University of Kentucky campus and the Gatton College of Business and Economics, that we will have at least the opportunity to uh, convey to them the value of, of an education at UK and perhaps many of them will, will come here and engage with our faculty and our staff uh, to set them on that path to uh, building new new companies that will employ uh, a lot of people in the Commonwealth. Thank you. I can personally say that I'm really excited about being involved as the Dean in this groundbreaking program. So let's finish with you Anne. What else would you like to say that we haven't discussed today? Uh, as we've got some of your alums uh, watching, I want to make sure they know that we're also hiring folks for this program. And it's a pretty amazing uh, experience for the folks who work with us too. Just go to our website, KentuckyGSC.com. Please let folks know about these openings. We're hiring now, so now's the time to apply. Just love to uh, to have lots of UK alums involved with, the, with this program on, the, on this wonderful campus. Great. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Silas. And thank you, Dave, for joining us. For the viewers, I can't wait for the program. And you can imagine that a later edition of Simon Says in 2024 will show extensive highlights of this wonderful program. Thank you, guys. And a great way to start the new year is by being ranked among the top 2% in the world, viewers. That's right. Aside from the University of Kentucky itself being well represented, Five Gatton professors are prestigiously listed among the top 2% of the most cited researchers in the world across 22 disciplines. Please join me in congratulating these outstanding Gatton professors who continue to make us proud. A special Simon Says shout out to Steve Bugatti, Dan Brass, John Pelosa, and Jim Ziliak. And also your dear old Dean is quite humbled to be among these listed. Big kudos and congratulations, and cheers to my colleagues in the top 2%. Viewers, it's hard to believe it's already time for the 35th Annual Economic Outlook Conference. Join us on February 8, where leading economic experts will discuss the economic outlook for Kentucky and the USA as a whole during 2024. And spoiler alert, viewers, AI will be front and center for these discussions. Presenters will join us from right here at Gatton, the Stanley and Karen Pigman College of Engineering, and last and certainly not least, some folks from the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. This event, sponsored by the Center for Business and Economic Research, will also unveil the annual Kentucky Economic Report. Reserve your seat today on our website. And viewers, it's a new year with new resolutions to make and then break. Let's find out what our students are resolving to do in 2024. Thanks, Simon. I'm Story and this is the John Dory. What's your name? Zach. 
Well, it's nice meeting you. As you know, it's the start of the new year, and I just wanted to see if you have any New Year's resolutions. Uh, probably getting in the gym more. Um, my New Year's resolution is to fix my sleep schedule and get, like, six hours, maybe. Oh, six hours is the goal. Five to seven. Five to seven. What's your name? I'm Samek. Nice to meet you. So, it's 2024, start of a new year. What are your New Year's resolutions? Study hard and uh, make sure like, I keep up with all my classes and stuff. I'm Alor. I'm an international student coming from Kuwait. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, welcome. So, what are your New Year's resolutions? What are some goals you have for yourself? I would say making my country way proud because <laughs> I'm here sponsored by the government and uh, be successful during this year and make my parents proud. <laughs> we love to have you here and we're so sorry it's cold. What are your New Year's resolutions? Uh, I'm actually running two miles every single day until my dad goes to the gym and works out. Wow. Wow. What are your New Year's resolutions? I actually did not set any. I'm in the same boat. None. Wow! Wow. I hope you achieve all of those goals. My New Year's resolutions are to make it up into my classes, even if it's really, really cold out. It's really hard to get up out of bed, but class is important. <laughs> Jenny, show them your sweatshirt. Wow. 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 And that just about wraps up our first 2024 edition of Sound and Sears. So glad to be back at the news and can't wait to hear from you throughout the year as we prepare to live in a world with a new Alabama football coach. Can you believe it, viewers? Until next month, be well and go Cats.